So rather than me making money from affiliation, I thought I would pass the discount on to you. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now this is a review for the commercial add-on called Quake Motion Camera and I'll be straight up, it's pretty damn good to be honest. Now I would like to give a little bit of backstory regarding the discount and promotion and a little bit about the plugin. So the developer got in contact with me a couple of days ago and he says, do you mind reviewing my product? I'll give you an affiliation link. And I thought to myself, well rather than me making money off your hard work, why don't we just pass the discount on to the user? It makes a little bit more sense and everybody's a winner then. So that's what we came to an agreement with. So if you use the link in the description down below, I suppose we could call this a channel exclusive, you will receive $5 off the add-on. Now there's three different methods, there's the pro version, the ultimate version and the basic. So the basic goes from $20 down to $15. So I'm hoping for you guys, that's a little bit of a saving, I hope that kind of entices you a little bit more to support the developer. Now underneath the discount link for Gumroad, there is an official Blender Market affiliation link, but unfortunately we can't give a discount on Blender Market, so if you want to save yourself money, use the Gumroad link. If you want to support the channel, use the Blender Market link, it's completely up to you, I recommend you save yourself some money. So rather than me trying to give you a sales pitch, let's take a look at this scene. So I set it up very, very quickly inside of Blender. And all I done was animated the camera start point and the camera end point and then use quake motion in between. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly start this off from the beginning. The character has been imported from Maximo and I have a basic camera motion. And if I jump into the camera, you can see here, it's, it's all right, it's passable. But it doesn't give me that kind of steady handheld feel. It's not very dynamic, to be honest. So if I open up the properties on the right hand side by pressing the N key, I go to Quake Motion, there is a whole bunch of options. Now I want to make you aware here, I'm actually using the Ultimate version. I probably should have asked for the Basic version, just to kind of give a better example. But all the bells and whistles are here, so we might as well use it. So I'll go through some of the options. So you can add in a random motion to the camera, and that's the first one. You can do a camera look, which is really good for doing like camera pans and zooms, stuff like this. You also have the camera pan, the zoomer, and you also have the quake camera tools. So this lets you bake the keyframes, also lets you delete the keyframes obviously, and you can do a camera follow. So if you want to follow a specific object, this is what you would use here. You have the camera switcher. Now I think this is pretty good to be honest. It lets you quickly switch between cameras when you're rendering. Excellent, saves you a little bit of time. And I think this is probably the main selling point for the product. I think the time that it saves you probably pays for itself. Now the camera shake is pretty good to be honest. If you just want to add in like a quick camera shake, like an explosion or whatever, but I'm going to use one of the presets that's already defined just to save me a little bit of time to be honest. And I'm going to use something like a stable camera and I'll just hit that and I'll add the preset and check this out. Just a little bit more fluent, it just changes it up a little bit. Now I could go back and I could make this obviously a little bit more extreme. And because I'm using the ultimate version, I have a whole bunch of presets that I can play about. So let's do a shaking camera, let's add in this preset here and let's see what we get now. So you can quickly start to see how easy it is to make nice, natural, fluent animation. And even just having it paused there, it looks pretty good. So one of the advantages of doing this is it doesn't bake the keyframes. So I can actually still move the camera and position the camera. So let's say for example on frame 40, I'm not very happy with the position here. I can grab the camera and I can move it down. Let's quickly create a keyframe and check this out. So once you're happy with the animation, you can then bake the keyframes, you can refine it, stuff like this. It's pretty good to be honest. So if I think I was to give my personal opinion, I think the basic version might be a little bit too basic. I think the pro version, kind of a nice middle ground and obviously the ultimate version, it's got everything included. Does it save you time? Yes, and I definitely think that's where the product actually stands out on their own. Could you animate this by yourself? Of course you could, but you couldn't do it as quickly as this. And one thing that I must mention is you can actually apply this animation data to objects. doesn't necessarily need to be the camera, so if I put it on a character, for example, and hit shake, it'll shake the character because it's only driving the animation data. And that has pretty much been Quake Motion Camera Review, it's a pretty good tool. Use the discount link down below, save yourself a couple of quid. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it certainly does help out. Follow me on Twitter if you want to get in contact, anyway, you know what to do. Take care.